welcome back to a new video from Bow Disciples. We are here at the Bow and Arrow Shop in Lakeside. So we came for a clarifier. We are not leaving with a clarifier. I am a bit too blind. Uh, I just can't find that good in between that I want to settle on uh, that makes it comfortable seeing out far distances. So we have settled on a new set of glasses with maybe one of those really hot strings that, you know, tighten up in the back. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. So in the meantime, we have switched my bow to performance. We're going to try it out, see how fast it's shooting now, see how we leave. <laughs> look blurry which means yeah they're no. hard to, it's man because yeah, oh, that means then trying to switch like the lens to see mm -hmm. you, the, yeah those all set i'm short but i'm not quite that oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> I'm also looking out there like 200 friggin' yards. So I'm not getting a clarifier cut. It's not that, that it would not work. Do you want me to keep speaking? <laughs> ben Humper? You're gonna get a more of a oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Like, yeah. once I'm there, it's not bad. But it's definitely like a hop over right. the, the uh, whatever you call it. It does sound quicker. It sounds quicker. Yeah, definitely going to be quicker. Yeah, no, that's not a bad feeling at all. Yeah, it's not too bad. I, I was expecting a little worse. Yeah. I feel like it's bow to bow for the Bowtex. Like some feel more aggressive than others. And I think on this, on the Eva, it should be a little smoother, right? Yeah. So that was that was my debate of like we talked about this once is do I wait a couple months really get stronger and order the 60s and try to drop them to like what's the lowest it would go like 50, 50. or can it go to 40 like 48? Yeah, you can get 48. So would it be smarter to buy the 60s then and if I can get to 48? Are you gonna try to go to get to 60? 55 is the goal. Okay. 50 is the goal by the end of the year. 55 is the main goal. And we're at 40. Let me see how much I can get dropped on this so then we know exactly where the 60 is going to drop. Okay. And then once you move up, we can take it off. I'm still just pumping Ooh, nice. the trigger. Okay. Towards you. Towards you. Not too much, right? So if this is your line, yeah, perfect. So just slightly off. And just get comfortable. There you go. Just don't bring this football behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it back. I just felt like it's having trouble holding it steady. Nice. Even though we're shooting, yeah. the technology is better. No. Keep no, me out not better. <laughs> I feel so oh, weird okay. to keep so your hips aligned and your foot forward. But I'm getting more accuracy out of that one, you felt like, or people. So you're starting to close off your hips. Watch. Here? Uh -huh. Either one of these two uh, will Maybe that's why I'm like trying to keep them too, like, yeah. whatever. This will be a little bit more forgiving for you. about starting at the base, right? So everything's going to start from here. Yeah. That was smooth. Yeah. I really don't notice the performance all that much at all. Easy. Oh, we wonder if it happened. Easy, easy. Yeah. Hey, Brittany. Look at the ball. So, see the breeze book. So, that's got buried down the limb. That's a maximum efficiency. Pulling 80 pounds. 80, yeah. Sure. 80 pounds. All day. I was about to say that's impressive. I don't think I'll ever do that. Can't move Jane's 72 pounds, less than half inch. Oh, that one I didn't like. Nice. Yeah, because what you're doing is you turn it on. That was a good break. I do that as well. You're 26 years I thought. I thought that you came. 
always the same direction. It's always this way. And then I come back. Bree is a little bit uh, too short to vertically challenge to shoot through this chronograph, so I'm going to attempt to shoot her left-handed bow through here, and uh, hopefully it, it doesn't go poorly. <laughs> got about a two-inch draw length, too. Yeah, send it right there. 214. Actually feels pretty comfortable shooting. You gotta switch to left-handed? Yes, I'm gonna be a switch, <laughs> a switch shooter. I'll be like the Chipper Jones of archery and shoot switch. It's very hard to get the release on le left-handed though. Oh, see? Uh -huh. Spilled. <laughs> oh it's so God. hard. I can't get it clipped. This is a disaster. Pass. Uh, go down a little. Left. Right there. Okay. Yep. Right. 212. Awesome. So she's picked up about uh, around 30 feet a second, if I'm not mistaken. So that's really, really good. Um, earlier today we didn't chrono it, but we went from comfort to performance. So I'm guessing she was out right around 202 feet a second. Now we're up to 212. So things come up a lot, and with her strength that she's been getting from the gym, and also correcting her draw form, she'll be up to 50 pounds in no time. She's sitting just a hair over 40 right now, and uh, it's going to keep working her way up, getting this thing, getting this thing just shooting lasers, just lasers out of the Eva Shockey. So. That's what's going on. Fun day at the bow shop. Bree got a little tune-up lesson from Ernest here. Um, that's one good part about this shop that I love is you're not going to come in. They're not going to give you a bow and pat you on the butt on the way out. You're going to leave here knowing how to shoot. Whether or not you've shot your whole life like me or you've shot for three weeks, you're going to come out of here and at least be fairly competent shooting the bow that you purchased. So love these guys at the bow shop. Yes! Let's go. <laughs> Ernest from Native Archery Traditions started making them myself out here. A few buddies liked them, so they started. I started making them for some friends. My mom and I. So my mom does most of the sewing. She's been sewing for a long time. She knows how to do it a lot better than I do. So she kind of did it to where they're reinforced. I feel good about them now. And uh, yeah, she did a heck of a job. So the way it works, right, you have it lanyard to the strap. Got this piece of elastic here with some non-slip underneath so when you stick that release in there to keep it tucked away it's going to stay there walking somewhere where i'm going to be pulling it out pretty soon i kind of tuck it in like so and then so if i'm going up on a stock i'm getting close to that spot where i'm going to take a shot i'm tucking it like this because then i can pull it out pretty quick and it's ready to go. if i got a more of a longer ways to walk I'm going to keep it tucked away, probably a little deeper, so that's not going to come out. I can't get that out unless I untuck it. Yeah, I hope you guys are digging them. Let me um, see the top. Awesome product. They, they are double Velcroed, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, so the way you put them on, right? strap over that first one and then you got this safety strap so it's nice and snug and keeps this from flopping around hitting your bow one stocks or right. bumping into things scaring every animal yeah. off this and not one, only that these releases are expensive they get pricey so risking you know losing it or dropping it when you're out in the woods or whatever it's not fun we are back from the bow shop so we are all dialed in and set ready to go we are now at 42 and a half pounds completely maxed out and flipped to performance mode so we got that 214 feet per second we also added a new longer stabilizer so i stopped throwing my lens in the dirt try to keep it a little bit cleaner uh, but all around great day at the bow shop a lot of great attention they pay attention to a lot of details so uh, if you haven't been head down that way and check them out and then if you haven't, try and go to uh, the bow shop. You can get the Native Archery Traditions wrist straps there or head to bowdisciples.com and you can pick them up there. We will see you in the next video. Wow, deputy, deputy.